Malin Yule, and good morning to all of you. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about this new and exciting initiative, as Matt uh, mentioned, the FFA Regional Aerial Surveillance Program. Um, I'll touch on a few key points, noting that uh, we've just circulated a fact sheet on this program, um, and w which you will get uh, further information. Um, and so, so this will allow for further uh, time with regards to questions and discussion. Um, I mentioned that this was an exciting program, and this is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, this program enhances the ability or capacity of Pacific Island members um, to surveil or monitor its vast EEZ. So we've been, um, the, uh, the Pacific Islands have been called large ocean island states. Um, and, and so this, this uh, program in particular will, will assist in monitoring that vast um, oceans that, that we have. Um, the benefiting members in this uh, program are the Pacific Island members to the FFA. So it's all the members um, with the exception of Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's also exciting for the FFA because this is a totally new area for the FFA. Um, and it's, it's very much a, a work in progress for us in terms of um, ensuring that, uh, or trying to ensure that, that um, administrative processes and the like are made as efficient as possible in terms of clearances, um, air pl aircraft clearances and that, to enable more time to be devoted to the actual operations. As uh, Matt had mentioned, this is part of, the, of Australia's Pacific uh, Maritime Security Program. PMSP, which is a 30-year commitment by Australia um, to the Pacific to enhance security in the maritime domain. Two other components of this uh, PMSP are the replacement of the patrol boats, benefiting 12 uh, Pacific Island member countries, and this, the other component is um, enhanced cooperation and coordination, um, with things like uh, enhanced data sharing, networking, and the like. In particular, this um, aerial surveillance program is um, being coordinated by uh, the Australia's uh, Department of Defence, where they have contracted a uh, civilian service provider to provide two aircraft, two King Air 200 aircraft. One is currently here in Nauru, and, and you'll have an opportunity to view the plane. I understand there's a launching program um, to be held on Wednesday, and we'll share the details of that program with Lisa, and she could share it with you. So we look forward to great media coverage at, at that event. These two King Air aircraft are fitted with the latest um, technology in terms of sensor and communications um, devices. Um, the program, operational control for the program is placed with the FFA. Um, so although the, the Department of Defense are contracting this civilian service provider, FFA maintains operational control of the program and it is the members that will direct where and when these aircrafts will, will um, operate. Related to this um, was the foreign ministers at its meeting, recent meeting in Apia, collectively agreed that the aircraft be treated as state-like aircraft. So once again, trying to ensure that the processes are made as efficient as possible, clearance processes are are done in accordance with state aircraft, and as you may be aware, this you know it ensures that they get appropriate immunities and privileges accorded to state aircraft. Um, this will ensure that more time is devoted to the operations, as I mentioned. Um, and although uh, the program is currently focused on fisheries, um, we will be extending this to the wider, uh, broader law enforcement areas, such as um, uh, drug trafficking and people smuggling. So there's, there's, there's an opportunity to also cover these areas. Um, in regards to the aerial surveillance product, or what is being gathered by the planes, um, this will be transferred to members via the FFA. Um, and it's important to note that all this data is co controlled by the members in whose EEZ the data is taken from. So the control rests with members and it's, it's uh, held, secured, stored and disseminated in accordance with strict um, security guidelines which was approved by FFA members. Um, 
in conclusion, I, 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 I must reiterate the point that, that this greatly enhances the ability of members to, to surveil its waters. We have limited assets. Um, I, I'm aware that some countries don't have uh, patrol boats. Um, some have one, some have two to cover this vast um, sea area. So having these aerial surveillance uh, aircraft will definitely um, enhance the, the ability of members to monitor its waters.